In Marinette, the family of Sam Hengel hopes to help others as it looks to find comfort for Monday's hostage situation. The family making a decision that could help save other lives. The Hengels decided to donate their 15-year-old son's organs. Fox 11's Ben Crummeltz has another view of the decision to donate. In the U.S., 18 people die daily waiting for an organ transplant. That statistic from the Wisconsin Donor Network doesn't begin to tell the need for organ donors. The quicker the better. Time is always of the essence. Sam Hengel passed away on Tuesday at St. Vincent Hospital in Green Bay. Of the organs donated at the hospital through August, 24 have been used in transplants. We do um, organ procurement on a fairly regular basis. Um, of course, it depends on the individual situation. In a statement, the Hengel family says, we find comfort knowing that the gift of Sam's organs could benefit many individuals. We don't know how many will benefit, but we are consoled knowing that the prayers of many will have been answered. Sally Lursch with St. Vincent says the decision to donate is always hard. Most often it arises out of some type of tragedy, and so it's always a difficult situation for people. When someone dies and they haven't identified whether or not they want to be an organ donor, it's often up to the family. St. Vincent Hospital has officials on staff that helps the family identify the benefits of donating the organs. Most of the time when they do have an opportunity to reflect back on it, it does provide some comfort to families. UW Health says nearly 110,000 people are on the national organ wait list. Almost 1,700 of them are from Wisconsin. One individual may actually save the life of multiple individuals uh, because of their willingness to donate. There are other situations where we can't use the organs, but we don't always know that ahead of time. A spokesperson for the Hengel family says the organ procurement organization with UW Health helped the family with the donation process. As for Sam's organs, the family will never find out who benefits but UW health officials say it, someone likely will. In Green Bay, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. As of September, more than half of Wisconsin's drivers and ID holders have said yes to being a potential organ donor. And if you want to sign up for the Wisconsin Donor Registry, you can head to our website, fox11online.com. There is a link in the news link section on our homepage. You must be at least 15 years old, and 15 and a half years old rather, to register.